So, this is going to be my hunter guide. How I'm going to structure it is I'm going to show a little bit of me just hunting first and then I'm going to go through and step by step try to explain some of it because I know that a procedure seems impossible until you understand the underlying concepts. And that's what I'm going to try to do. I will start assuming some knowledge. My for example, my Pyramid Plunder Guide was targeted at pretty much already high level players that just wanted to know the etiquette, basically. This is for people that have hunted before. I'm not going to explain how hunting works. Just this method. Okay, now for how it works, with the swamp tar method, or herb tar rather, uh, you're starting a three tick cycle, which you want to end at the same time you're telling your character to move away. So because you're making those two cycles overlap of running away and finishing the three tick cycle, it places at the same tick that you start running away, which allows you to do very convenient trap placement. I'm gonna let a few of them activate. So you do this, then you're supposed to wait a tick, but for me it's basically instant because of the slight ping. So I never really had to get used to that. If you have low ping, you will have to. Let me pick this up. So that, wait a tick, step, like that. Now you can do this without actually clicking on the spot if you're already standing on the spot. You just click, wait a tick, and it'll work like that. Um, just keep messing around with the timing. You have to be able to do this really quickly. Like, that's what took me a while to get the hang of when I was first starting, was being able to click away within the same tick that the first cycle had ended. Uh, so keep messing around until you're comfortable with that. And then just some more niche things. So if I've reset this, 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 and then this, I'll stand here because these two will have just been activated and they have a warm up period. And I guess another thing is just never stand on your traps. If, if you're wondering about the location, there's a spawn here and a spawn here. Um, yeah, I wish I had remembered that standing on your traps actually makes it impossible for you to catch a chin. It makes it impossible for that trap to work. I've never had to shoot the chins. With this method you can expect 180 to 190k an hour. I've done this for I think like 60 mil XP or something. Okay, one other thing I didn't explain was if you've done this trap, then this trap, then that, then that, and you've reset those four, you want to stand here so you're adjacent to this one, this one, and this one. So you're, basic, you're already in the spot where the next trap is most likely to activate. So that's for just uh, 
8pm, I guess, if you're concerned about some good habits to get into to make this easier on yourself. And just some opinion here. Uh, I would recommend really trying it out if you're already doing standard 3 tick hunter because it looks far more intimidating than it is and once you're into it you get so much downtime while still doing it in the best way and it's it's a lot more fun and relaxing to do hunter this way once you can handle the that part um yeah i think that's all from me and good luck hunting i hope this helped <laughs>